Grocery stores in general did fairly well during the first half of the recession in 2008 and have been mildly affected since then. That's according to an economist with the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Economic Research Service who says people need what grocery stores are selling. They're more recession-proof than other industries, and even within the food sector, grocery stores, I think, are a little more protected because of the nature of the products they sell. However, Liebtag says grocery store profits are somewhat affected by the recession as people cut back on non-necessity items. It could be organic, could be naturally grown, could be locally produced. Things that add on costs and add on to the price, those are going to be more difficult in terms of consumers continuing to purchase. So, do stores catering to higher income shoppers hurt more during a recession than the average supermarket? You may have consumers that are shifting some of their other purchases, kind of their big ticket luxury items they're holding back on. So, yes, the higher cost stores are definitely hurting more than the lower cost stores, but it also is a function of who your normal market is that you're selling to. Lead Tag says as the recession continues, USDA is keeping tabs on grocery store economics. It's something that we have ongoing studies about, and it is important to recognize if economic pressures lead to stores having problems, that that can lead to a gap in terms of what food is available. At this point, we haven't seen any major closings of food stores because of the recession, other than the normal churning that takes place as smaller chains kind of get gobbled up by the big players. In Washington, D.C., for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, I'm Bob Ellison.